In this video, let's see the next property of inverse trigonometric functions chapter wherein we are basically studying the properties and their proofs of reciprocal functions. That means we already know that sin inverse 1 by x is equal to cosecant inverse x in the previous video and in this video we have the proof of the next set that is cos inverse 1 by x is equal to secant inverse x. Let's get started by proving the same. The proof goes somewhat like this. I have right hand side as secant inverse x. Let secant inverse x is equal to theta. Now x will be what? x will be secant goes that side. x is equal to secant theta. And secant is the reciprocal of cos. So cos is the reciprocal of secant. 1 by x is the reciprocal of x. So it becomes 1 by x is equal to cos theta. From here, what is theta? Theta is nothing but cos goes that side, it becomes inverse. So theta is equal to cos inverse 1 by x. Now you close this bracket. And what was theta? Theta from the question was secant inverse x. So it is equal to secant inverse of x. And this we enclose in a box because this is the final result that we were supposed to prove. Now, talking about the range domain and everything, I have x minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity. That means x is less than equal to minus 1 and x is greater than equal to 1. That is the case that we already know for secant and cosecant both things are same. What about theta? My theta is the angle. Now theta should be such that I shouldn't have 0 in the denominator. That means secant x is 1 upon cos x. Cos will be 0 when angle is 90 degree. So my theta should have a condition that the angle in the denominator should not be 90 degrees so that my answer is not 0 in the denominator. So that means my theta should be what? My theta should be everything from 0 to pi because the range and the domain that we already studied for cos it is 0 to pi. So my theta belongs to 0 to pi. But one thing is not there. What is not there? Pi by 2, 90 degrees. Why? Because cos 90 is equal to 0. So it is minus of pi by 2. When you make a big bracket, that means you are excluding this angle. But when you make a curly bracket, suppose in the set you made a curly bracket, the curly bracket tells me that you are excluding this element. So you need to take care which bracket do you want to include and which you do not want to include. The theta value is basically from 0 to pi and pi by 2 that is 90 degrees excluded completely. In this video we studied the next set of reciprocal functions and their inverse. In the next video we will be studying the next set of tan x and cortex that means tan inverse and cot inverse.